Howdy Vikings, we're going to learn how to read lab equipment and particularly read it correctly. So we, there are four basic ones we'll start with and that's a thermometer, graduated cylinder, transferring chemicals, and a digital balance. So for a thermometer, just remember don't ever shake it. Um, you see people doing that in the movies all the time. Please don't ever ever shake a thermometer, you'll ruin it. Uh, you should not touch the bottom of the walls of the container um, and shouldn't touch the sides and you should make sure you read it on eye level. Now for a graduated cylinder um, you, sh you should also be on eye level you should be on a level surface and you should be reading from the bottom of that meniscus. Now for transferring chemicals you want to hand put your hand over the label hold the stopper between two fingers and use a spatula or scupula that's if it's a solid. Now if it's a um, liquid, you will obviously pour instead. So for a digital balance, um, please don't ever put your pressure on the pan, um, directly on the pan, and don't put any chemicals on it either. That's kind of gross and you, you could ruin it. And some of them are expensive. So And also please tear or zero out the, the containers. Um, so you don't measure the mass of the container. So that takes a little bit of practice um, when um, we start working on it. So uh, first goal is to be able to determine the smallest increment. Now the smallest increment here is going to be um, for this first one you may be able to figure out when I say the smallest increment I'm saying how much is each line worth. Okay so there's a little formula to that the smallest increment is the difference between the numbers divided by the number of lines so the difference between here and here well is um, going to be five right between 30 and 35 and so and the number of lines is going to be one two three four five so five divided by five is one okay now for the next one, the difference between the uh, two numbers, you could either be from 5 to 5.5, and that's where this 0.5 comes from, and or in the number of lines is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or you could have done um, the difference between 5 and 6. So that would have been the difference between 5 and 6 is 1, and then there are 10 lines in between, Five and six, so one divided by ten is going to be one tenth or zero point one. So each line is worth point one. Uh, for the next one, uh, go ahead and try it yourself. Okay, uh, if you said one, you got it correct. Good job. So for we now need to be able to estimate a significant figure um, in our, and we need be able to add some kind of what we call an estimated digit. Now this has to do with the number of significant figures and we'll get to sig figs more later. But we have um, a ruler right here and it's reading between 7 and 8, right? So we want to get the me reading for measurement A. Well I can figure out that each increment is going to be worth um, 0 point point one right so that's each increment now for each dot right here um, it's going to be point seven point one seven point two seven point three point four point five point six point seven point eight but right here in a it's right in between so it's somewhere between seven point eight and seven point nine now I need to be able to communicate that to the reader that it's somewhere between that so I'm going to estimate one extra digit so that means I'm going to write down 7.85 alright what you are doing is you are taking that smallest amount of increment here and you are the smallest increment has one decimal place, but you, so you should be adding one extra decimal place. So if the smallest increment is two decimal places, you will add um, another decimal place, and your reading will actually have three decimal places. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, for part B, you have nine point 
uh, 1, 9.2. So part B, uh, measurement B is right on the line. So if it, even if it's right on the line, you still need to communicate that one extra decimal place. So this is going to be the correct answer. It's going to be 9.20. All right. Um, I that is a big one that uh, likes to show up on the AP test um, kind of a lot. So make sure that you're focusing on that and not making that silly mistake because it's really easy. So on, um, let's do a little bit of practice here. We want to determine the value for the minor grids in the cylinder. Um, go ahead and try these yourself. See if you can get them going. Okay, welcome back. You should have gotten these values. Hopefully, um, the, all you were doing is finding the value of the increments or the smallest increment. So this one is going to be 1. This one's going to be 2 now because the difference between 0 and 10 is going to be 10. And there are 5 lines. So 10 divided by 5 is going to be 2. You could do the same process here and the increment can be 0 0.2 or the increment can be 0 0.5. So um, it's they could be different uh, different types. Now, could you draw the meniscus for each of the following here? You have 49.21 milliliters. Well, the bottom of the meniscus should be at, um, here's 49.2, and the bottom of the meniscus should be at 49.21, all right? So I'm just estimating and getting an approximate estimate. You may disagree with my um, estimated digit, and that's okay. All right. What happens is, is that I'm consistent. Maybe uh, you might be consistently higher and I would be consistently lower. So that is okay. That's allowed. So now with 18.2, um, you might read it about here. Okay. We're reading, remember that you're reading from the bottom of the meniscus or this curve, bottom curve. And then this one is 27.65. And then this one is 63.8. I hope those are correct. Um, I've been known to be wildly wrong um, a couple of times on some of these. So point me out, point it out if uh, you notice a mistake. So now determine the volume of the liquids uh, following the, the determine the volume of the liquids in the following cylinders. Go ahead and practice this one right now. Okay, so you should have gotten these. Um, hopefully you got the correct answers and you're good to go. Remember that your values may be a little different than mine. 